Hi, my name is Colette and I am the founder of Laser Classroom and I am very excited to share with you the Light Blocks Kit. It's a hands-on kit for kids ages 8 and up uh, for teaching and learning about light and optics. So now we're going to look at reflection. It turns out that light reflects off of a surface in a very specific way and this activity is designed to help your students uncover the law of reflection. So let's take a look at that. For re the reflection lesson, we're going to use one light block with the line cap on. I'm going to use the red one. And we're going to use a mirror and your mirror clip. And then we're also going to use a protractor. The first thing you want to do is position your protractor. We're going to have our protractor facing a specific way. We're going to have the 90 degree mark going across like this. And we're going to have that uh, 0 and 180 degree mark pointing directly towards us and that that's going to be the center right there and then you're going to set up your mirror with your mirror clip and if you squeeze the edges of your mirror clip it will open and you can insert your mirror and you're going to position it like this so that it stands flat on your protractor and we're going to place the mirror right along that 90 degrees so it's 90 degrees on either side and 0 degrees is right in the middle and we're going to divide that mirror so that the center point is right at the zero. And the first thing you're going to do is turn on your light blocks and just get an intuitive sense for what's going on. So we can point that ray directly at the middle and we can see right away that there are now uh, two rays. The first one leaves the light blocks and strikes the mirror. That is called the incident ray. And then immediately when it strikes the mirror, it reflects back out, and that is called the reflected ray. And if you uh, move your incident ray, like change the angle at which you shine in your incident ray from either side, actually, you notice that that reflected ray moves at the same time. And we're using a protractor here, so we're going to actually measure some angles and we're going to find out exactly what the relationship is between this incident ray and this reflected ray. Because once we do that, we will have figured out what the law of reflection is. And the first thing you need to know is that this line right here, it's kind of an imaginary line <clears throat> that runs along, in this case, along the zero degree mark, perpendicular right from the center of the mirror towards you. We're going to call that the normal line. And you're going to measure the angle uh, between normal and the incident ray, and that's going to be called your incident angle. We're also going to look at another angle, the angle between normal and the reflected ray, and that's going to be your reflected angle. And there's a relationship between the incident angle and the reflected angle that is very consistent in the way that all light always reflects all the time. So we're going to take some measurements and see what that relationship is. So we're going to start by placing the light blocks so that it shines right along that 30 degree mark directly to the center of the uh, mirror. And it does diverge just a little bit here. Um, so it's a little bit wider when it leaves. Remember how light spreads as it travels? We're experiencing that here. Um, but we're going to do our best to get it lined up. I'm going to see that it comes in along the 30 degree mark, which means the distance between normal and the incident ray. That is an angle of 30 degrees. And as it exits the mirror, it also passes directly through the 30 degree mark. So the angle between, or the uh, reflected angle, the angle between the normal and the reflected ray is also 30 degrees. Let's see what happens when we change it to 60. So we have the incident ray coming in at 60 degrees, which makes our incident angle 60 degrees. And then we have the reflected ray leaving also at 60 degrees, which makes our reflected angle also 60 degrees. And that is the law of reflection. So the law of reflection says the incident angle is 
equal to the reflected angle. And that's always true. That's how light reflects. Thank you for taking time to learn about teaching and learning about light and optics with the Light Blocks Kit. It is the uh, featured kit for the International Year of Light, which is the year 2015. There are lots of additional resources available at the Laser Classroom website, which is www.laserclassroom.com. And I'd also like to say thank you to our sponsors, SPIE and OSA, who also offer many free resources for teachers on their websites.